Hey, what's good, YouTube? Um, Shabuan the Game Rate Seven Zero here, and just wanted to come in and let you all know. First and foremost, <clears throat> you can actually be off guard here. All right, I don't want you to feel like, man, this dude finna try to scare us, and he finna hit us with all kind of different animations and things like that. Honestly, I have been studying my animations. But this story time is not the appropriate one to show you all those types of things. You will not be hit with the screaming faces. You will not be hit with anything out of the ordinary on this one. Um, this story is true. It's real. But the main reason I'm not going to scare you all is for the simple fact that my mom watches my story times. I don't want to scare my mom. Like... No, I'm not going to do that. So, with that in mind, go ahead, get comfortable. Um, some of you all may already know this story. Some of you all are like, is this real? Yeah, it's 100% authentic. So, get a, get comfortable. Don't forget to like, sub, and share. And uh, enjoy. All righty, follow me. I recall this being a Saturday evening when everything popped off, so to speak. I don't know if you all remember, but there was a story about a Mr. Stanley Tukey Williams that Jamie Foxx played the lead character in. Um, Jamie Foxx, I remember commenting and complimenting him about his role in this movie because it showed some diversity in him you know that was one thing about it but the reason I was even watching the movie in the beginning is because this also is the exact same night that St Stanley Tukey Williams was going to be executed and I recall watching the movie and I was like, whoa, you know, this is it's a lot, especially learning about this man um, on the exact night that he was going to be executed. I was watching this movie in my in the bedroom of my townhouse. OK, my townhouse um, had two bedrooms upstairs and it had a bathroom upstairs downstairs well after that it's a it was my bedroom bathroom other bedroom then stair stair stairwell okay then after the stairwell once you get downstairs it's a den slash front door and then if you go the other direction it's a bathroom there and a kitchen slash washroom area right so I'm upstairs watching the Stanley Tukey Williams movie um, and when it goes off I had a habit at the time of always buying DVDs I used to buy DVDs like all the time like I still have hundreds of DVDs to this day from that habit so after the movie went off I used to just buy them routinely and I would watch two or three movies on a Saturday night and call it a night. You know, that was what I used to do. Well, after the Stanley Tukey Williams movie went off, I had to use the restroom. Okay? So I get up and I go to the restroom and I'm washing my hands. And as I'm opening the door out of the restroom, there's a figure there. A massive figure. Um, he's a little bit shorter than I am, but he's a stocky guy, right? And so I immediately am I'm about to rush him. But then I look a little closer and realize he's not. It's not really there. Wait a minute not really there right so I, I'm really having to get close and take a good look and I'm 
making sure I'm not seeing what I'm thinking I'm seeing and I'm trying to make sure that this is not a real person here right my mind is going everywhere it's, I'm freaking out because at this point I'm like what is going on I don't really I can't I can't get it I don't know what's happening and so it, it, it messed me up because I did not know how to respond to what is this figure doing at the top of my stairs and who can you call to get rid of it like what is this you can't call the police because it's not a real person you know um, so I'm like what is this so I'm 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 tripping a little bit but it's not just something that's going to make me just completely freak out and let me put a pin right here you know in movies when you always watch a scary movie and they and you always say I would have done X Y and Z if I was in that situation well this is one of those situations for me you know this is one of those what exactly would you do if you had a ghost in your house how would you respond um, this is one of those situations and it was real it was scary so this was the first day this is the first first night I guess um, so I go back into the room close the door and continue watching TV you know um, I had a roommate at the time she happened to be at work when um, I initially saw the figure at the top of the stairwell uh, when she got off work I was asleep I was asleep and so the next morning uh, wake up and I'm just having casual conversation with her trying to determine did you see anything at the top of the stairs? I don't want to just come out and ask because it's something that it's such a big deal that it was probably going to be the first thing that either one of us mentioned so I was waiting until she said, yeah, I saw someone, someone, such such. She never said it. She never said it. So, again, I had already passed it this morning going downstairs. But now he's in a different position. The previous night he was standing up and just looking. Now he's leaning up. He's comfortable leaning up against the wall just looking at me like everywhere I walk he looks and he follows me with his eyes I'm like okay let me let me let me quit tripping I, I know that this thing this this person is really not here but he looks real I feel his presence if he's not here why am I seeing him so that was the that was the second that was the second day morning I go ahead and this is Sunday this is Sunday this is a Sunday so I go ahead and you know I handle my business throughout the day um, but I'm constantly thinking about this figure all day in my head like I wonder if anybody else is having this situation going on right now like what's what's really going on right so I um, have a conversation with my roommate and I'm asking her you know if anything different has taken place you know have you noticed anything unusual have you seen anything out of the ordinary I'm hitting around it trying to get her throw at me. Hey, well, since you brought it up, there was something at the top of the... It never happened. It never happened. She... I think I was making her a little bit scared or paranoid by asking those that line of questions because it just... It wasn't making sense. So now at this point, I'm really freaking out. I'm like... Okay, something's in my townhouse, and I'm the only person that sees it. I'm the only person that sees it. Okay? Okay. 
So honestly, I'm 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 freaking out for real at this point. Freaking out for real. Um, I did not finish watching the movies from the previous night. So after handling my business throughout the day on Sunday, Sunday night comes and I'm watching movies. Right? I'm watching movies. Well, after watching one movie, um, my stomach starts to hurt, like, really bad, like, incredibly bad, and it's a different pain I've never felt before, like, it's not a, oh, I gotta run and use the bathroom, it's a, man, what is, what, what is this, like, this pain was unreal. So, I um, I get really nervous and I started to pray at this point. Like, I'm like, I don't know what is going on, but whatever it is, go ahead and reveal it. Let me be a fast learner so I can come on up out of this. This is, this is a bit much. Um, I'm in pain for most of the uh, most of that time, right? I'm in pain for most of that time. But instead of things getting a lot better, they actually, in turn, got a lot worse. Now, sweats are here. Like, I'm sweating incredibly bad. I've sweat through clothes. I'm taking off my shirt. I've taken off my shorts. I'm just in a real bad way right now. I'm, I'm really, really sick. Um, and it still continues to get worse continues to get worse um now i have to throw up now i have to throw up so i get up and i go to the restroom and and i'm upstairs at this point still but again this figure is still at the top of the stairwell looking at me and i'm like and he's still looking at me and i look at him He's looking at me and I'm looking at him. So I just at this point I'm 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 in so much pain and I'm feeling so bad that I don't really care. You know, look at me. I don't I don't care. You you do what you got to do. Um I I threw up at least five to six times that night. Um This was a really, really bad sickness though, because I couldn't keep anything down. I had a refrigerator in my bedroom a small you know little college refrigerator well college dorm room refrigerator and well it wasn't small it was pretty big but it was that's what I used it for initially and I was drinking water and Gatorade water Gatorade water Gatorade and whatever I would put in it would come right back out whatever I put in it would come right back out so at this point I'm getting incredibly weak because I can't keep any fluids down either. And so I didn't sleep much that night. I didn't sleep much that night. Um I was I was up and down throwing up all night. Um so now we're at Monday. We're at Monday. Um My roommate was very attentive. She was making sure that she like you good, you straight. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I had work that afternoon planned. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do so I can get ready for work. Um, but she went ahead and she was she had taken her shower and was about to go to work. Um, I got up again and again. This figure is still at the top of my stairwell. But he looked different this time. Now his arms are folded and he's just he's looking at me like he it was a the whole incident was surreal. But this was more so of a he what was going on with me internally was much more important than him if if that makes any sense to you. So I really wasn't caring about the fact that he was still present, but I was worried about myself. 
so I, I I never forget it. I went to the restroom, and um, I swear I started sweating really bad, like really bad. Um, and next thing I know, I heard a really loud, really loud noise. It went boom, like really loud. Next thing I knew. I have a massive headache a massive headache and the ambulance is there out in front of my <laughs> out in front of my townhouse well apparently I had fainted while in the restroom and fell and hit my head on the floor um it was a pretty bad, I had a really bad headache from it. But after the passing out and having to get on the gurney, which I didn't want to have to get on the gurney because that was a $400 charge just for them to take me like around a corner. I didn't stay anywhere from the hospital at the time. So that was a $400 charge just for them to come and give me a ride to the hospital. Um, yeah, still upset about that. But they hooked me up to an IV and gave me a bag of solution, pumped me, a, pumped me full of the fluids or whatever. And at this point, I'm like, good, I can figure out what's what's going on with me. And all they did was told me the symptoms. They didn't tell me what possibly could have caused it they just told me the symptoms like hey you have uh, I think the doctor said you have explosive diarrhea and I'm like yeah I noticed that the last time I went to the restroom what else you got oh well um you're extremely nauseous as well like, yeah what else you got like what's causing this what caused this um, he just said, well, I'm going to prescribe you these, these pills and you can take these and, uh, you should be better in two to three days. That's it. No possible solution or whatnot. That, that was a solution, but no possible causes for this. And he never was able to tell me anything other than take these pills and get you some rest for two to three days. Don't go anywhere. Don't do anything. Just stay at home and stay in the bed because you're incredibly weak at this point. I said, okay. Um, depending on who you talk to, right? Some people believe that when you're about to become incredibly ill, you have hallucinations you have hallucinations some people believe that people have third eyes and you can see into different realms of the world and you can see things that other people can't see um, I'll just share this with you and then I'm going to be done and I'll let you come to your own conclusions the movie with the young man that made the statement I see dead people was never funny to me <laughs> y'all be easy take 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 away from that what you will take away from that what you will um, peace